Thank you, Shachina. Thank you, Shachina. Thank you, Shachina. She of dreams. I am your Shachina. I am yours, Shachina. Grateful within your dreams. rising in service to and an embodiment of the sacred feminine. I am Taya Shir, Chantrika, and Hebrew Priestess. In this moment, we are here to explore sacred burlesque prayer formants with Vina Sainana, international facilitator and powerful healer, author of Mary Magdalene Speaks, and innovator of sacred burlesque prayer formants. Vina, it is so wonderful, such a blessing to be here with you. Tell us. What is sacred burlesque, and how is it distinct from the burlesque that many of us may be familiar with? Okay, sacred burlesque is this incredible art of prayer formance where we combine prayer, the field of intention, shamanic techniques, the mm. power of sacred storytelling, telling the story of your life, going through this metamorphic process whereby through prayer, through intention, you decide mm what you're willing to let go of, symbolically, metaphorically, literally, um, and literally through the burlesque, shed pieces of clothing, shed props, shed part of the design of your choreography to release, not just for yourself, but for members of your family, your tribe, um, for the whole world, um, and be willing to let go of as you proceed on this path of evolution and spiritual development to being the person that you have always wanted to be, your true nature, your true authentic, authentic self. Mm. Erotic dance as transformative ritual. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> oh my goddess, yes. <laughs> mm. how, did your, how did you find your way to Sacred Burlesque? How did it find its way through you? Well, I've been performing since I was nine. Mm. I've done drama, drama studies, been a drama teacher in Singapore, uh, always been on stage, been very comfortable in front of the stage, but always in the category of acting and doing dance, ecstatic dance, contact improvisation. So when I stumbled upon burlesque and started taking courses, 
Um, I had an incredible transformative experience. Combining mm -hmm. my knowledge of shamanism, of energy healing work, I went through this deep metamorphosis where I transcended beliefs about myself, about mm -hmm. the ugliness of my body. Mm -hmm. I had some body image issues. I was not happy with the way I looked. And with burlesque, I was able to move into the space where I was happy with my body, happy with the mm -hmm. way I looked. And I actually moved into this place where I felt beautiful from the inside out. Mm. And um, I was happy to stand in front of a crowd, in front of the audience, and, and seduce and shed my clothes without shame, without feeling awkward or ugly as I did in the past. And so um, I found myself on this wonderful, um, you know, journey of metamorphosis. Mm. So moved by your offering as we began this conversation. And I'm curious, what is it like to be in your body as you're offering sacred burlesque prayer performance? What is moving through you? What is it like being in my body? Well, it feels wonderful because for a long, long time I wasn't in my body. Mm. I was a victim of abuse, of incest, of electroshock treatment, of uh, some severe patriarchal re uh, um, repression and uh, always being told to behave a certain way, walk a certain way, you know. And so I was coming out of all of that to this true authentic self-expression. Mm. What comes through my body as I do this dance is my prayerful intention. Mm. I have a theme before I dance and um, in this case it is the prayer uh, that so many people, thousands around the world, men and women alike, um, can utilize this incredible modality, mm. uh, can incorporate dance as such um, a powerful transformative um, uh, source of healing for the body. Because as you know, we hold our issues in our tissues and mm. as we dance, we clear this away. As we pray, as we set intention, even more is unfolding. Mm. And so what unfolds for me through my dance is my prayerful intention that people can come into this uh, uh, form um, and utilize it, benefit from it, get empowered from it. Mm. And um, in their creations of their sacred burlesque dance, mm. that they can set their prayers to create a better world, mm. to create a more harmonious world. Mm. That's moving through me very yes. powerfully. Clearly. Yes. Can you speak to the power of sacred burlesque to support the healing of sexual trauma? Yes. Um, what was really powerful for me in the dance was that, and combined with my research into trauma, I help a lot of clients with uh, trauma work, with releasing and healing. What I notice is that when people have been abused, when control of their bodies have been taken away from them, when things are done to them against their will, what happens is that their power center is deeply impacted in so many ways that they themselves don't even know. They're just um, not aware of how they've been impacted. It impacts decision making, the whole process. It impacts being in your center. Um, when you're not in your center, it is easy to make the wrong decisions, to partner with the wrong people, to choose the wrong location for residence, for business. It impacts your entire life. Mm. Many people don't know how, the, how extensive those ramifications are. So through sacred burlesque, what happens is that you actually take control of your body. Mm. You decide how much you're willing to shed, how much you're willing to strip off. Uh, what elements of your story, of your past, are you willing to let go of? Mm. By taking those decisions, you claim mm. your body, you claim your power center. Mm. And in that intentional prayer of the performance, so much happens, a deep metamorphosis occurs, uh, a deep empowerment occurs, and there is a massive change in even the body restructures, mm. the whole psyche restructures, there's massive psychological healing. Mm. And so it's uh, priceless, you know, in the healing of uh, deep trauma and yes. abuse. What would you say to someone who is very much drawn to this practice and also feels the nervous tingles, <laughs> a little bit scared, <laughs> pushing the edge. Oh, what would yeah. you say for someone who sacred burlesque is edgy? 
Yeah, you know, it was deeply edgy for me. I was terrified. Mm. I was going through a lot of my own fears, fears that I looked so ugly, uh, fears of wh you know what the audience would think of me. So my take on this is that if you are considering sacred burlesque, if something draws you, tune in, take a deep breath, feel the rightness of it. Know that a sacred container is created in that dance, mm -hmm. in the vehicle itself, in that art of prayer forming that will hold you, that mm -hmm. will hold that space for your own healing, for your metamorphosis, for your empowerment. Um, the gifts that are available to you at the end of it are priceless. Mm. Self-confidence, a higher self-esteem, uh, having greater value, standing tall in your own skin, feeling good about yourself, feeling good about the way you look, not desi desiring to look like a size two or some you know undoable image of beauty, mm. not subscribing to that, but being honest, being happy in your own body mm. and being more embodied. Those, that, that's just priceless. Amazing. The gifts of the path of sacred burlesque. Oh, yeah. Will you offer a prayer for us as we move into another dance? For millennia, there's been a great divide between the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine. It is my deep prayer to have um, a union of the two, to allow for the divine feminine to totally rise up on the earth in both men and women, to have the qualities of nurturance, to have the qualities of deep intuition and guidance, of honoring the earth and all our brothers and sisters, of living in harmony, and living in harmony not just with ourselves, but with the earth and with all of nature, with all of the universe. Um, my deep prayer is that the whole world gets to create systems that are sustainable, that work, that are peaceful, that we get to create total peace on this earth, um, and that we live, that we can live lives of deep harmony and, and move into non-suffering. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Thank you for bringing sacred burlesque forth. I am grateful and I feel the gratitude rippling <laughs> and for offering us your sacred navel. <laughs> so sweet to be in the juicy peach of you. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you, Shahina. Thank you, Shahina. Thank you, Shahina. She loved dreams. I am yours, Shahina. I am yours, Shahina. Great love within your dream. Modanila, Shahina. Modanila, Shahina. Moda, Ali, Betochalome. Modanila, Shahina. Modanila, Shahina. Thank you, Shahina. Thank you, Shahina. Thank you, Shahina. She of dreams. I am yours, Shahina. I am yours, Shahina. Grateful within your dreams. I am yours, Shahina. I am yours, Shahina. Grateful within your dreams.